Smash TV. It's the Blood and Guts television game show of the future. You're the contestant in this survival of the fittest competition against more enemies and action than any other NES game. Based on the 1990 arcade game of the year, you were the next contestant on the game show with the ultimate prize, your life. You choose futuristic weapons like photon lasers and plasma grenades and the two controller action gives you a 360 degree arcade firepower. That's right, one player uses two hand controls providing action and control never experienced before. One controller moves the contestant, the other controller directs the weapon's firing direction. Alone or in a pair, powerfully armed contestants are sent into a closed arena. There are nearly 50 enemy-filled studio battlegrounds to fight your way through, and you come up against some awesome enemies. Smash TV, flying shrapnel and total carnage. Ultimate Air Combat is a great new flight simulation from Activision. It's the most advanced flight simulator ever made for the Nintendo system. You can select the missions you want to fly. Air to ground assaults, sea strikes, jungle raids, harbour attacks. Fly the F-14 Tomcat, F-18 Hornet and the Harrier Jets in 33 different missions over nine levels. Each plane has unique handling characteristics, plus you can customise your payload of bombs and weapons depending on which mission you're flying. As well as the usual sidewinders, Mavericks and Vulcan cannons, there's a special arsenal of futuristic weapons, including thunderballs, guided bombs and lasers. What separates Ultimate Air Combat from all the other flight simulators is that you get two games in one. In addition to the normal air-to-air -air simulator, the battle changes to an adventure-style game where you see the plane from the outside as you try and bomb and shoot your way through another mission. There's true-to-life sound effects. Your co-pilot even talks to you using 20 digitized voice samples. Ultimate Air Combat is the most advanced flight simulator ever created for the NES, using 4 meg of memory, more than any other game. Another feature is password memory, so you don't have to repeat missions already completed. Ultimate Air Combat by Activision, the most advanced flight simulator yet. Bart versus the Space Mutants. An unidentified race of aliens have landed in Springfield, and only Bart can save the planet. The aliens can change their appearance to look like the residents of Springfield, and Bart, because he has X-ray glasses, is the only one who can see them. Bart's got to find a way to defeat the aliens and convince his family he's not going crazy. The aliens are building a machine to control the human race and they need all kinds of purple objects to do it. In the first stage of the game, you guide Bart through the streets of Springfield. He has to spray paint, cover up or remove everything that's purple so the aliens can't use it. Bart can also jump on the aliens he's discovered by using his X-ray glasses. Each time Bart gets an alien, a letter in the name of one of the Simpsons appears under their picture at the bottom of the screen. When their name is fully spelled out, they get to help Bart defeat the end boss, waiting for him at the end of each level. There are five levels to the game, each one harder than before. In the second level, Bart must collect hats, because the aliens have changed their machine. In the third level, Bart collects balloons. In the fourth, he collects signs. In the last level, Bart has to find his way around the maze of the Springfield power station, collecting power rods. 
Throughout the Simpsons game, you'll see the famous characters from his family. Nelson the bully, Sideshow Bob and more. There are warp zones and plenty of one-ups to be located, including at least seven in the first level. You must also go into shops and buy tools and toys that you'll need to complete a level. Bart versus the Space Mutants from Acclaim.